Okay, guys, so we're moving on to question three, okay? Let's read the scenario. So it says, Netflix is a popular streaming service that allows subscribers to watch TV shows, movies, and documentaries. Use the infographic below to answer the questions that follow, okay? So there's a couple of stats, I think. Um, biggest streaming day of the year is the 1st of Jan. Oh, that's interesting. Mexico had the most members watching Netflix every single day. Okay, the average, okay, like, let's just, we don't need to read through everything, right? Let's rather just go to the questions and it will help inform what we should do. Okay, so it says, Netflix had 117,58 million subscribers, important million, right, in 2017. If we assume that each subscriber watched for the same amount of time per day, okay, calculate how much each subscriber watched per day. Write your answer in the format minutes Hours to minutes to seconds. What is this? It is a ratio. Okay. Round off to the nearest 10 seconds. Okay. So there's a lot of moving pieces here. But first of all, let's see how much, how much time was actually spent watching Netflix. So it says here, in 2017, so we know we're working in the same year. Wonderful. It says 140 million hours watched per day. Okay. So we know 140 million one, two, three, one, two, three million has six zeros, importantly, right? Six zeros after the number, right? So it's not including the zero because it says 140, then a million is another six zeros, okay? Then we're going to divide it by the number of people who are actually contributed towards those many, many hours of watching, which is 117.58 million. So it's 117.58 one, two, three. Now, you could be saying, how on earth did you get to this number? Well, you say 117,58 times ooh, a million. That's six zeros. Cal put that into your calculator. You see? And that's your answer. Okay. So I just did that in my head. But you can do it in your calculator. Okay. So now we need to work out what this is, right? So it will tell us the, the answer in hours, right? Because we know that the 140 million refers to hours. So it's going to give us an answer in hours, but then we're going to have to do hours, minutes, and seconds, okay? So we're going to go 140. Oh, okay, we can put it in this way, rather. One, two, three, one, two, three. Importantly, put it incorrectly, guys. You know me well enough by now to know that I constantly type it in, in incorrectly. My, my, my numbers sometimes in, in my um, calculator are a little bit strange. Um, so that's the answer there, right? So this is saying 1.19067 hours. Okay, but we haven't finished answering our question, right? Because our question says that we have to write it in hours to minutes to seconds. So we know hours, minutes, seconds. So we know that it's one hour, right? But now we need to figure out, right, what 0 0.19067 uh, eight seven is in minutes, right? So, how many minutes are there in an hour? There are sixty minutes in one hour. Okay, so I'm going to take this here and I'm going to times it. So I'm going to just minus one first to get this because we put that one hour over here, right? We're not interested about hours anymore. Just working with minutes and seconds, and we're going to times this by sixty because we know that there are sixty minutes in an hour, and we're interested in what. Number of minutes does this 0 0.19067, what does it represent? Ah, okay. So we know that it is 11 minutes. But we now also know that it is 11.44, right? So now we're left with this decimal place. I'm going to put it over here. Sorry, my structure is not very good here, guys. I hope you can follow me, right? So this is minutes, right? And then this now. We, is seconds. Okay, so now we're going to do exactly what we did over there. We're going to take away 11 because we, we now have allocated the 11 minutes and we're just left with this decimal with seconds. Now, how many seconds are there in a um, minute, right? 60 seconds in a minute, isn't there? So we're going to times by 60 to figure out how many seconds it is, right? So it says it's 26.44 seconds, okay? So it's one hour, 11 minutes, and 26.44 seconds. 
but we have not fully answered the question. It says, round it off to the nearest 10 seconds. So, you stay the same, but we need to round this off. And we round it off to 30, because it's closer to 30 than it is to 20, because we have to round it off to the nearest 10 seconds, not the nearest second. Okay, and that is your final answer. So importantly, we worked out hours, we took the decimal, we times that, right, by minutes. So we said there's 60 minutes in an hour. So we times this by 60 to get the 11. Then we were left with this decimal, and we times that by 60 to get the seconds, right? So it's important, um, equals one minute. It's important to know your conversions, okay? That's what they're fundamentally testing you here, right? They're testing whether you understand how many minutes are in an hour, how many seconds are in a minute, okay? So if you don't get that, I would go over that again. But fundamentally, it's about identifying what numbers you must use, writing them out correctly, and then understanding your conversions, okay? Um, sorry, that answer equals that, just so that you know what's going on. Okay, let's move on to the next question. The infographic states that 140 million hours watched per day equals 1 billion hours per week. Use a calculation to prove it if the statement is true. Okay, so let's say... What is 140 times 7? Now, you might be saying, Margie, it's 140 million, not 140. Yes, that is correct. But we can just write this answer in millions as opposed to putting in, like, so many zeros, right? It's a little bit easier to put into our calculator. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. No, we're good, right? So, right, we get 980 million hours in one week. Right? So why did I times it by seven? Well, the seven days in a week, right? 140 million per day times by seven to get to the number in a week. Now tell me, is 980 million equal to 1 billion? No, it isn't. This does not equal 1 billion. Right? In fact, it is less than, less than 1 billion by 20 million hours, right? So we'd have to add, right, over here, if I said 98 plus 980 million plus 20, then I get to a thousand million, right, which equals one billion. But that's not what it equals, right? So we're 20 million hours short of one billion in one week, okay? So that is the easiest way of going about it, right? But here, what it's testing is whether you understand how many millions are in a billion, okay? And there is a thousand millions in a billion, okay? So this was one of those questions where it was a lot about conversions and it was maybe a little bit confusing because there was some time, there was some lots of zeros, but what this is asking you to do is to basically to interpret words like million and put it into numbers and be able to calculate answers, okay? I hope that was helpful. Now we'll be going on to the next question.